come to today's class and in today's class we'll just be talk about very very important things right so um in the last class i was able to explain to you guys you know what this system really is and how it works right so in today's stream in today's class sorry uh, we're going to look at how to identify high probability trades where we can take risk for the buy and sell all right so let's dive right into it like you know trading is a game of probability right? by now you think you should know this trading is a game of chance it, it's gamble it's more like a gamble right now our job as traders is simple to make sure we eliminate every of the odds that would be against us <clears throat> right why so that we can have a good win now what do you mean by all of this in trading right in trading we are all forecasting we are all assuming we are all predicting all right however we have tools that we use to make these predictions and assessments and forecast do you understand so it's all about probability when it comes to trading now our job as traders would be to clearly take out all the odds that would make each and every trade not go in our favor all right why because it is all about probability nothing in the market is what is guaranteed so it's all about probability and that's how we have risk management which, which we'll discuss in our subsequent classes from now. But however, trading is a game of probability, right? And as traders, your job, your job as a trader is to eliminate every odds that would be against you simply so that you can have a good winning trade. All right? So uh, in trading, there are two kinds of trades. In, in trading, there are two kinds of trade. Yeah, let me use the word trading, two kind of trade <laughs> technology. But I hope you guys understand the gist. In trading, there are two kinds of trades, right? Now, the first trade is what we call a high probability trade, all right? So we, we have two kinds of trade. We have two kinds of trade. We have the first one, which we call a high probability trade, right? And also, we have another one that we call the loopability trade, right? The loopability. How this makes sense? So your job as a trader would be to make sure that you are always and always going for what the high probability trade all the time. Your job would be what to make sure you are going for high probability trades and not low probability trades. All right. So with this our system, I will show you how you can identify a high probability trade now let me say this because it is high doesn't mean you won't take losses of course you would because like i said it's all about probability but then you want to make sure that in every chances you take in the market all the odds are what in your favor i hope this makes sense all right so like i was saying your job is to what find those high probability trades all right now because they are high probability trades doesn't mean you won't take losses of course that's why it's called probability but this one is high which means that the chance of you winning this trade is so high compared to your chances of you losing it all right so i will show you briefly how you can spot this high probability trade using this system all right and also once you are able to tell what a high probability trade is you can also know by then by default you should also know what a low probability trade is i hope this makes sense all right now you can take both On how to find of them and for the sale. 
So we we'll look we we'll look at cell setup and buy setup. Any of them, right? So let's start with a cell setup, and then we we'll look at a buy setup as well. Give me a sec. So let's 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 find a high cell setup and a, a high buy setup because our goal is to in this class is to understand how to identify high probability trades and also what low probability trade all right let's go now in subsequent classes i explain to us what this system is all about it is called a daily candle sweep trading system like i, I gave the name right all right i give me that name right now if you can call it anything but the whole idea is we are working with the daily candlestick formation. I told you in previous classes that our job here is not to find market structure or find all of those stuff, all of those complex theories. No, no. Our job here is very, very, very simple. We just want to follow candlestick formation. All right. Now, and for candlestick formation, we are dealing with the daily candlesticks. Now I said you can do this with other time frames like four hour and one hour and the like. But I said you should stick majorly to what to the daily candle stick formation. I hope this makes sense. All right, so let's dive right into it, and then we we'll go from there. So um, in the previous class I explained, I said we just want to focus on what on just the candlestick formation and nothing else. So for example, what do I mean? How do I know a, a high probability sell and a high probability buy? So take a look at this, guys. Take a look at this setup here. So this this these three candles, the, the two black candle and the one hash candle. You can see that, right? Now, clearly, I know that this is a what? This is a sell move. How do I know? How do I know it's a sell move? It's simple. I've given you guys the cheat code to, to identify two candles form. I know where the market is heading. All right. So for instance, so for instance, I see candle one. All right. Candle two. And the two close below it. I know that this is actually what a down move. So what I'm expecting next is to see the third candle go up, right? Go up a little, and then I can take a risk for a sell because this is a high what probability sell. How is the high probability sell? Clearly. This can do this can do is a cell can do forget about the color. This can do is a cell can do. This can do is a cell can do. What I mean by the cell can do is this is a bearish can do, right? This also is a bearish can do because it is going down. Now the top can do opened and swept the high and went above and went above the high of the previous can do. So clearly this move. This move by the third candle above the high of the previous candle is what my high probability sell opportunity. I hope this makes sense. Should I explain this again? Now, this let me change this color so don't get confused. I'm using red and I'll make it so yeah. So this so these two red candles are what are my bearish candles right now i told you guys in the previous class that how do i know if i should be looking for a selling opportunity or a buying opportunity i said once i see one two candles form i hope you guys remember that concept let's go back to let's go back as we can find it all right so look at it here i said the job is to the job is simple the job is to simply monitor the function of the candles once I see a one, two, three bullish candle, all right, 
and all I have to wait for is for the bottom to be swept. Then I would switch to a lower time frame using church to blah blah. Do you understand now? For a for a bearish candle, once I can see one, two, or three bearish candles, my job will be to wait for the previous candle high to be swept. So it says wait for the top sweep and then switch to a lower time frame. Alright, it's so simple. Now take a look at this. I gave this illustration the, the last time in class, right? I gave this illustration in class the last time. Yes, you guys. So take a look at these candles here. Can you guys see this? You know, let me zoom out. Alright, cool. So take a look at this these candles here. So we have this K candle. This K candle is a bullish candle, right? This L candle is a bullish candle. What happened with this M candle? This M candle opened and went below this L candle. Alright? As soon as I see this, I just know that this will be my high buying opportunity. So for this bullish move, this is a what? A high probability buy. Alright? Now, let's take a look at the bearish move. So we can see this A candle is bearish, right? Big black bearish candle. This B candle is also what? Big black bearish candle. What do we see? We see C candle open and went above the high of a what? Of the B candle. As soon as I see this, clearly I just tell myself this is a what? A high probability trade for the sell. Does, does this make sense? See, you have to watch this again and again. You have to rewind this to understand what I just said now. Alright? Let me explain again. I told you guys, how do I know if I am to be expecting a buying opportunity or a selling opportunity? I gave you guys the code. I said, once I can see one or two candles form. Alright? So let's, let, let's, let's stick with two candles. So, once I can see two candles form. So, for example, we can see K candle is bullish, which is candle 1. And L candle is bullish, which is candle 2, right? Now, once I can see these two candles form bullish, alright? All I have to do is simple. I just have to wait for the third candle, or maybe the fourth candle, or maybe the fifth candle, because you can have five candles that is bullish, and there's no telling opportunity for you, because it's not, like, you know, I told you guys, I said, it's of probability. You're not so sure if the third candle would sweep the oil blow. It can be the fourth candle, it can be the fifth candle, or even the sixth candle. But how do I know a buying momentum? Once I can see at least two bullish candles, I just know that in my mind, this is a buying opportunity. Alright? So once I see two bullish candles, I switch my mind. Two bullish daily candles, I switch my mind to only look for what? A buying opportunity. Now, how do I get a high probability buying opportunity? It is very, very simple. I just wait for the next candle to sweep what the low of the previous bullish candle, and then I would switch to my lower time frame and find my entry model, which I will show you guys in our subsequent class. Please play this as many times to understand what I am saying. Also, for the bearish candle, once I can see two, three, four, five, depending, all right, once I can see at least two bearish candles, I just tell myself that in this particular currency or in this particular pair, the market is going down for a sale. So, my job would be to look for what? A sale opportunity. All right, so, so we have A can do bearish, B can do bearish, then C can do, you know, Opened and swept the high of B candle, telling me this is a high probability sell. Now let's go to the reach out. Please take your time to watch this so that you can understand it. All right, so take a look at this move here. Let me take a look this out. So take a look at this move, guys. Take a look at this move. So we can see. For candle, you can see this bearish candle, right? And a second bearish candle, right? 
and that's not great. And a second bearish candle, right? Now, what happened? What happened? You can see this third candle, right? You can see this one. This third candle opened and swept the high of the previous candle. Now, I know for sure everything. See, guys, please pay attention here. All of this, all of this, everything you're seeing here in this whole place does not consign. Everything you're seeing does not consign me. All right. Now, let me explain what I mean. So, at first, we had a bullish move, bullish move, and we began to have bearish move, bearish move, bearish move, bearish move, bearish move. Bearish move. I will began to have another bullish move with two candles. I will began to have another bearish move. So, my job is to simply just what? Follow what? The candle formation. I hope this makes sense. My, your job here is to what? Follow the candle formation. Nothing consigns us with market structure, all of those bullshit. So, at first, so let's start from here, all right? Let's start from here. So, we have this bullish candle and this bullish candle, right? Right? Now, once this, this bottom is taking the last low, the low of the previous candle, what's the staking? You can see. Okay, you know what? Let, let me just, let me just, uh, let me delete this so that it becomes very clear. Very clear. Give me a sec. Once the low of the candle is swept, I just know it is a what? A high Babylon trade. So, so you can see here we have candle one, which is bearish, candle two, which is bearish, candle three, which is bearish, and then candle four opened and swept the high of the bearish. Candle three, right now. Once this happened, this is a what a high probability trade, right? This is a what a high probability trade. Now, how do you find these highs of this candle? It's just to simply monitor bear your charts and know when it pairs your trade when they close. M many times, forex pairs, forex pairs like this one that, 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 that we're using, they closes by 10 p.m. So by 10 p.m., a new candle opens. While in crypto, by 12 a.m., a new candle opens. So it's not anything fancy, all right? Now, having said that, so once I see, once I see, once I see this movement, this movement, so you can see, right? So you can see this was a bearish move, right? And then this candle swept the high. So what do I expect? I expect this market to what? To go down more. This movement is what I call a high probability sell opportunity. I hope this makes sense. Now, now let's take a look at this candle. All right, so look at this. So we have bullish can do one right and we have bullish can do two can do one is bullish can do two is bullish right does that make any sense so what do i expect what do i expect it is pretty pretty really really simple now i i can clearly say that because i have one two candles from bullish Clearly, I know this is what a bullish move. So, all I'm looking for in this opportunity is what a buy opportunity. All right, is a what? Once I can see one, two, three candles form bullish, I want to look for a what a buy opportunity. Once I can see one, two, three bearish candle form, all I'm looking for is a sell opportunity. So, now I have one candle. Two candles, right? Bullish candles, right? So this candle here is bullish. I hope you can see my, my mouse. So I hope you can see my mouse. So I hope you can see my mouse. 
So this candle is bullish. This candle is bullish, right? All right. So all I have to just wait for is to wait for the third candle to come and sweep below. You can see this. So this third candle, this third candle opened and took out the low, took out the low of this previous candle. Now, once I see this clearly, I just know this is a what a buying opportunity, and this is a what a high probability buy opportunity. I hope this makes sense, and I hope I'm clear enough. Please watch this and take note as many times as possible. You need to watch this to understand what I am saying. Watch this again and again and again till you get it. How this makes sense? All right. All right. So we have candle one bearish, candle two bearish, candle three bearish. Now candle four opens and takes out the high of this bearish candle. Now, once I can see this move, it tells me that what this is a high probability opportunity to sell. So I just scroll down to my 15 minutes. I told you guys that we are using two time frames, right? We are using what two time frames for what for this model, the daily and the what the 15 minutes. So I, once I can see that high taking, all I'm looking for is a change of character i will teach you guys all of this in the next class so once this low so what i'm expecting right now in this trade is for this market to come to come all the way down like this once this low is taking once it just goes below this low then i will find an entry and then i will follow it to the downside i hope this makes sense all right, so I will explain this entry model to you. This is called a church entry model. I will explain it to you guys in our subsequent classes. But in this class, I just want to explain how we can identify high probability sell and high probability buy trading opportunities. I hope this makes sense. This is making sense so far. So let's watch what happens. Let's watch what happens in this market. So um, we keep watching. We keep watching. We keep watching. So once this place is taken, then we'll find our sell opportunity. And so we just keep watching, we keep waiting, we keep waiting. If it doesn't give us the entry model, then we can't read. Alright, so we keep waiting. Now it has what? See that guys, it has what? It has taken it. Alright, so So you can see, you can see here, it has what? It has broken it. You can see clearly that it has broken it, right? You can see that it broke it with a wick. Whether it's a wick or a body, it doesn't really matter, all right? Whether it, whether it breaks it with a wick or a body, it doesn't really matter. So now all we have to do here, is to find our what our entry opportunity so once this flow is taken we just find our entry opportunity i will show you guys how to find the entry opportunity we use other blocks to find our entry opportunity so clearly we have so if i, if I, if I take if I, if I take a look at this please i can see i have two valid uh let's say one this is not a valid other block so we have this is not valid this is no this, all of these are inside bar. Okay. That one out. So this one is inside bar. Okay, so no, hold on. I'll just play all of these to you guys. So this is an inside bar, right? An inside bar. So no, there's no other block inside there because all of this, all of this move is just one candle. Um so I will show you guys. So another other block I would have had. There's clearly no other block here. None. Except for this one. Except for this one. This one is our clear order block. So this is our supply zone. So this is our supply, our supply zone, right? This is our supply zone. Supply zone. This is our supply zone, right? 
So what, what, do, what, what do I do? What, as soon as I see this, I just have to take my 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 long my short N three two, and I set it. So I put my stop loss above the high. You know, above the high, which is like a fourteen point five pips, right? And then I target. I will teach you guys also how to set a target. For me, I do one to two or one to two point five. Depends on. So let's use one to two. So, so I use one to two. You know, and I do this because of the lot of this of the uh, of the stop loss. If the stop loss is as is, is as wide as can be, then I use a, a very quick opportunity that I can be. In and out of the market as a day trader quickly as well. I don't want to hold it for too long, so I want to be in and out. All right, so because this is like a 14 pips stop loss, 14.5, I want to just take the one to two. So, what do we have? Let's play and see what happens. You know, so, so yeah, we got we get tapped in, we get tapped in, and then we can see it is going in our direction, right? So, you can see it's just dancing in our direction, in our direction, and you can see. We are still in the trade and the trade is still going. The trade is still going, right? The trade is still going. It's going and yeah. And then we hit our take profit. So now this is a sell. This is how you take these trades and so on and so on. So I will teach you guys the entry models in our consultant classes. But I hope you understand what it means to take a high public trade because that is the goal of this class. So if you don't, if you watch this video to this point, and you still don't understand how to identify a high probability trade, either a buy or a sell, you don't understand it, then please watch this video over and over and over and over to what understand it. So I'll see you guys in the next class. Let's have a wonderful day.